Uh, hi guys, someone on the uh, Lightwave forum uh, posted a link to a new tool. Uh, I don't think it's not a tool. Well, it's a tool and a, um, I guess, a, a deformation interchange format, uh, which seems really cool. Uh, it's called um, it's called Ozone. Basically, it's an order of operations. Uh, base deformation system to use instead of joints. You know, we've been able to do this for a long time, but this is the first one that, to my knowledge, is supposed to be a sort of general purpose <coughs> um, order of operation system that can be shared between applications and, uh, and even sent to real-time engines like uh, Unreal. Uh, now, someone in uh, the forum sort of complained that, oh, we wish we had something like this. And the thing is, is that Lightwave does have an order of operations based deformation system. And one of the things that the guy demonstrated was a little sort of ball head. And I made, and, and, and so I thought, well, th this, this is easy to do in Lightwave. You could do this exact kind of thing. And in fact, Light, Light, Lightwave is very well suited to this kind of animation. Unfortunately, its animations can't be, you know, sent to Unreal or something with uh, unless you bake them in an ale in a in a in a in a lambic or a, or an MBD or something um, currently, but it, considering Octane has its own sort of nodal system in Lightwave with a plugin and 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 there's Open VDB, it seems like if this Ozone thing takes off, it could probably be ported over to Lightwave, I would imagine, as an authoring system, <clears throat> or alternatively, it could be uh, Lightwave's own um, transformations and deformations could possibly be interpreted as ozone stuff in the FBX exporter. Um, and I just want to demonstrate this. So basically, I've done, I've, I've reproduced. It took me about uh, two hours to from from modeling this guy to rigging him to do basically the same thing that the guy demonstrated in the, in the Ozone video, which is this sort of like order of operations based round face. And, and all it is, it's, a, it's, it's just a rotations on top of rotations. So I've, all, all it is, is there, there are, there's a nodal displacement and subdivisions. There are no bones. I did, instead of using sliders, I, I, I did use what I think worked better in Lightwave, which is just to use uh, item controllers and nulls. So these are nulls that basically are used to the, the rotations of the nulls are are steering the, the displacements here. So what it is, it's it's six different rotation displacements um, applied to the mesh in order, and that's all it is. And each of those is tied to a rotation. There's nothing more going on. This is not a complicated nodal setup, uh, and so this would, you know, this is perfectly reasonable for a head. And so all I've got here are this and two weight maps. Um, I, I probably, in retrospect, would have would want to do it with more weight maps because it um, would, yeah, make it easier to. To do other things um, like separate the the teeth and the and the and the skin, but but there's no there's no magic going on here. This is something that Lightwave was very capable of doing, and in fact, I think I, I particularly in, in like the Lightwave way of doing this kind of thing. So I mean, you can see it works just like the uh, I think it's I think I mean honestly I think it's exactly the same. Setup that he did. It's just uh, I put teeth in mine, and I use nulls instead of sliders. Um, uh, so yeah, I just wanted to you know demonstrate this that that the the, the nodal and these are all n relatively new. I think these showed up in Lightwave 2018. Prior to this, DP Kit naturally had a bunch of. Um, Similar things. Um, I, I I I don't I don't know if DPKit really was suited for this kind of things, but but Lightwave has rotation has several deformation nodes, 
has basically all you would possibly need in order to do this sort of order up of operation stuff. The only thing it's missing is a good um, spline node. But there are several spline nodes available from third party um, uh, third party plugin developers. There's DP, DP spline and there's the, the one that um, uh, what's the other one? The new one that seems really cool. Um, but yeah, and it's, I mean, it, it's fast. You don't have, it's, it, I mean, I don't, I don't know how fast. It's certainly not anything that would be heavy to animate with. Uh, I, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I assume if you add a whole bunch of stuff after one another, it starts to get heavy. But, uh, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, uh, yeah. So this is the, an ozone inspired test. And uh, I think it was an incredibly successful test. I think at one point I'm going to try, you know, see if I could add eyes that could move independently and maybe tentacles or legs or something and see how far you could get with rigging something like this without it bogging down. Um, because I don't know how fast all of these rotation deformers are when you lay them on top of each other. But this, six of them, doesn't seem to have any noticeable effect on the playback speed. Honestly, it's really fast. So that is uh, promising. Um, yeah, that's that. Thanks for watching.